Hi, my name is Divian. And my name is Jake. We are from the Lambs Omega chapter at the University of Sydney. As the oldest chapter in Oceania, with our inception in 2007, we are a leader in our region, but still a relatively new chapter globally. As such, we have learned how to honor the legacy left to us by our predecessors, who are pioneering and building new paths for us, but also how to continue carrying on the torch to build a brighter future for Beta Alpha Psi. We have had successive generations of leadership, each leaving a lasting impact in every step. And this photo is a perfect representation of the impact at the Lambda Omega chapter, with leaders from 2014 to 2019, all in one photo at our inaugural diversity event last year. We call this the BAP effect. At Lambda Omega, rather than a single event, we sought to synthesize the difference we make into an overarching program that continues to serve the chapter and community long after we're gone. That's why our chapter developed the BAP cycle of impact. Ever since 2014, our chapter has been using innovation to informally develop and attract members from our very first diversity and inclusion event. In recognizing the value of this event, we have, cons we have consistently innovated a new iteration, iteration annually and effectively evolved this basic practice into a formalized executive pathway, growing our talented members. Our program offers members an opportunity to practically apply what they have learned from our events in the real world as a part of our executive team. They are inducted into the subcommittee and undergo our one year impact specialized training program. Our program has an especially strong community service focus. And the first thing we teach them is the core value of giving back to the community above all else we do. As they finish the program and move on to greater leadership roles, not only will they focus on giving back to the community, but also to our society through their very own form of innovation and its future generations as they keep returning, restarting the cycle. It is important to first note our key events that are integral to upholding of impact. The Future Leaders Inclusivity Program is this year's diversity event centered around developing leaders that recognize diversity of thought. Students are placed into teams and run through a series of activities based upon Tuckman's model of team building. They then participate in a team dilemma case competition to effectively apply what they have learnt. Last year's iteration was our DNI hackathon involving an amazing race and negotiation case competition, uniquely engaging students to develop their essential skills. It is important to note the improvements and differences between the two events year on year, as it forms the basis of our innovation. Our recent volunteering initiatives have been Pen Pals in 2020 and Australia's Biggest Morning Tea in 2019. Pen Pals is our response to the COVID-19 outbreak and social distancing measures. We have partnered with an aged care facility to relieve the social pressures and loneliness that many elderly people feel while in isolation. Cancer Council Australia's Biggest Morning Tea is a community event where we host morning tea and bring the community together to collect funds for cancer research. The first phase of the BAP effect involves maintaining high levels of innovation across all events, namely marquee events such as our annual diversity event as a method to attract and identify talent that can be used to progress the society. At Lambda Omega, we define innovation as the ability to continually improve upon our activity ensuring high levels of engagement across current and potential members. However, it is worth acknowledging that there are time constraints associated with this improvement. In particular, preparation has proven to be a barrier in the past and will continue to do so in the future. Therefore, we have identified the use of pre and post event surveys as a tool for innovation and a potential enabler to counteract the barrier of time. The careful formation of these surveys will ensure that our chapter has a constant stream of innovative ideas for the events themselves, while also providing streamlined methods to evaluate our performance in identifying areas of improvement and into solving problems. Innovation is an imperative part of the BAP effect cycle and is crucial in creating attractiveness and visibility. Upon identifying talent through innovation, we move into growing talent. The purpose of this phase is to develop upon the pre-existing skills of individuals attracted to Beta Alpha Psi via our events. We aim to provide an extension to the knowledge gained by participating in our events through the utilisation of the subcommittee program. 
The subcommittee is a team of individuals who work in specialised portfolios and liaise directly with the executive team, assisting in many facets of the chapter, such as forming and operating events. Our, the, the operating of these activities, through the operating of these activities, the talented subcommittee will learn valuable soft skills that can be transferred into other areas of their lives, such as leading a team to achieve its common goal, real world communication with organisations such as IBM, and teamwork alongside fellow subcommittee members. This directly benefits the lives of the individuals and provides a platform to transition into phase three of the BAP effect. The final phase of the cycle involves giving back to not only the wider community, but also giving back to the chapter. The community is directly impacted short term through the events run by the subcommittee. What makes our subcommittee so valuable is their strong community focus. And this is reflected in the subcommittee rising up and taking full operation of the Cancer Council's Biggest Morning Tea and the Pen Pals Initiative. Through these events, valuable funds have been raised to help the fight against cancer, and lonely members of the elderly feel valued through the letters they receive. From a long-term perspective, community impact will always remain a focus with a constant stream of subcommittee members volunteering with new initiatives each and every year. This stresses the effectiveness of not only phase three, but the entire BAP effect. However, Beta Alpha Psi itself also benefits with the community-focused individuals forming the future of the Lambda Omega leadership team, which in turn begins the next revolution of the cycle, ensuring that members will always be giving back. This is the BAP effect, and it is a cycle that will continue to progress until eventually what started as merely a simple idea will achieve what our chapter has strived towards for many years, truly making an impact. The BAP effect has profoundly changed the lives of individuals and communities, but our chapter is also a beneficiary, as it is well positioned to use this framework to innovate and create value generating events, while also ensuring the future of the society is in good hands, both now and long into the future. The BAP effect can be replicated in all universities across the globe. Simply by starting the BAP cycle of impact, all chapters can leave a lasting effect. Although it may sound simple to do, it is driven by passion and teamwork. We have been incredibly fortunate to be left a legacy from leaders who are driven to keep developing our chapter and the community around us. However, all it takes is one passionate team to kickstart the cycle of impact and ripple the BAP effect across the world. Thank you very much.